These massive stone tunnels carried millions of pounds of waste every single day, flushing it away from the city and into the Tiber River. And here's the truly amazing part. This ancient sewer system is still functioning today, still doing the job it was designed to do over two millennia ago. The Romans even had a goddess for their sewer system. Her name was Cloacina, and she was worshipped as the protector of the drainage system. I mean, if you built something so important to your civilization's survival, you'd probably want a divine being watching over it too, right? But the underground world of Rome contains far more than just sewers and buried streets. There are entire palaces down there, hidden from view for centuries. One of the most spectacular is the Domus Aria, Nero's Golden House. When you hear the scale of this place, you'll understand why I call it a city within a city. The Domus Aurea contained 300 rooms, an artificial lake, gardens, and even a rotating dining hall that turned like a planetarium to imitate the rotation of the earth. 